what's happening here? Uh, I'm in my car. It has buttons. It has buttons. Oh, let me see. I can do buttons. Like that. You can press buttons on a wheel. Oh. It's only rocket. Okay. It's a little astonishing to me how much we collected. Yeah. And granted, a lot of it was inherited because Grandpa mm -hmm. was he wasn't a hoarder, but he always, you know, held on to a lot of treasure. Um, and he always wanted to be ready. And he was ready. <laughs> Downsizing the tiny house. I have a habit of um, under underestimating projects, and um, I don't know. There's no way of overestimating the downsizing process. It is what it is, right? So um, I think I did a decent enough job planning and trying to determine what we needed and all that good stuff. But then when it came down to the wire, when it was really time for us to, when we had a deadline, um, it was work, you know? So, do you think we have enough lunchboxes? Um, we could use one or two more. You don't realize how much stuff you accumulate, but also the bigger the space, you're just gonna fill it with more stuff, so. You know, we had a, a good sized house, so we decorated and we filled it with stuff. Over the course of five years, we realized that we accumulated so many things that our house became a climate controlled storage unit. As a family of four, we would always end up in the same room, even on the same corner of a couch. That's how much we enjoy each other's company. During my downsizing process, I came across some things from my previous engagement to Thomas Reed. In 2008, we were engaged to be married, but 10 days before our wedding, he tragically passed away in a car accident. Now, despite me being married and having two kids, his family will always be a part of our family. My children call his parents Grandma and Papa. As tragic as his passing was, that experience helped to shape the woman that I am today. Wonderful last day. Mommy, this is all me. The best last day. Mommy, this is all me. 